Hi hey everyone, welcome. So, in this video, I'm gonna be making, no, not making, I'm gonna be showing you my process of making this dress. Well, I have made this dress recently and now I am kinda recreating this. And this is my third time recording because the first time I forgot to hit record button, I know I'm an idiot. And second time, I didn't like the dress that much. So technically, this is the third time. All right, in this video, I'm not gonna be covering the texturing part because to make texture, I have to open Substance Designer and I hate that software. Don't get me wrong, Substance Designer is an awesome software, by the way. All right, without wasting any time, just let's get going. All right, so this is my beautiful avatar and I start this dress with the basic block of the pattern which I make every time when I make dress, mostly though. So this is just a rectangular pattern with some tweaking and oh, by the way, this video is not for beginners. If you're a beginner and watching this video, you're gonna slap me because you will be frustrated like I was when I was a beginner. Maybe still I am. Anyway, do not slap me. When I get the basic shape, my next goal and probably the most important goal is to fit my garment on my character. And trust me, here I spend a lot of time because this is so important. Well, here is the basic sleeve pattern which you have to make in order to make sleeves. Yeah, that's obvious. So you might think, hey, why are you making the basic sleeve pattern? This dress does not have a typical sleeve. Well, I like to create like this. I like to create the basic block first and then tweak it to make the dress I want. So this is not every time but this is kind of the process I follow. Alright, now I'm creating the internal lines with polygon internal line tool and then I delete the top one because I don't need them. There's a cool feature in edit sewing tool. Just right click on any sewing and select add point to pattern on start and add point to pattern on end. With this feature, I just created two points and trace it with an internal line and deleted the top. Easy as it seems, I guess. All right, time for the big ruffle on our shoulder. And I have to make them nice because this is the main point, main focus point. This will probably grab all your attention, so it should be nice. When everything is said, time to sew them with a pattern. It may seem a little complicated, but it's not. By the way, you can sew them in 3D window. It will be a lot easier. Simulate and it looks okay. All right, to create more ruffle, you need to increase the size of the pattern and it will create more ruffles, more sweet ruffles. So here I am like 50% satisfied with this and then I froze them. All right, now time for the long part of the dress. This is the most important part. Well, everything is important. So I created a waistband with just a rectangle shape. And this also needs to be fit because it's gonna hold the most heaviest fabric of the dress. So after making the band, I just froze it. Now time for the long dress. Well, it's basically the same process as the soldier ruffle. Draw a circle, till the middle, and sew it. And most important, simulate. There is a little tip I want to share. Do not just increase the length of the pattern at once. Because Marvelous Design is stupid, and it's gonna freak out if you do. So just increase a little and simulate, and continue this process. It will take a little long, but trust me, you won't be frustrated. Okay, to make the bottom part flare out, I add a little pressure and simulate so it's gonna be like a balloon and then I remove the pressure and simulate again. So I get the basic shape I want. Awesome. Now to make those beautiful seam lines on the front. I just draw internal lines and cut it. Then use layer clone under to make the same pattern underneath. And just sew them together that's it it's it's gonna create amazing seam line you want so after getting those beautiful lines it's time to make the belt uh, 
uh, fabric belt so same process as the waistband and boom amazing okay to take this to the next level i just just layer clone over and make internal lines on both pattern and sew them and yeah you get an amazing belt congratulations where a pattern ends do not just keep it like this in real life what they do is they fold it underneath and sew so this is kind of the work i'm doing with the ruffle and trust me it's gonna make your dress a lot more realistic and exactly the same thing to the bottom and you get you get the nice thing all right so that's basically it so see it's not very hard to make anyone can make that so that's that's it that's the process i follow to create this dress and the next step is just adding the texture and render and get the image and share that's it so i hope this is useful i kind of doubt well i didn't have any past experience so if anything goes wrong forgive me and i will see you the next time hopefully